पवानेब्यो वैष्णवेब्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधार श्रीवास दे गौर भक्तविंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे Okay, are we ready, Archana? Yes, Guru. Have you, you? There won't be any Chinese sound once we. Yeah,、speak. I ask them to、uh, mute themselves, but they will understand it or not. I'm not sure. But、uh, I wrote in the chat box. <laughs> Mm, some sound is still coming.、Uh-huh. Okay, now okay, I think you're right. Okay, so we'll begin from the preface. Do you have the preface in the Thai book? Yes, you're right.、Oh. Okay, so I'll read from the preface first. The nectar of devotion is a summary study of Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, which was written in Sanskrit. By Shila Rupa Goswami Prabhupada.、Uh, Kamparo, Nagi Pengkan Ritton Sesala Pengkan Sutsa, Bot Sarup Kong Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, Sung Rupa Goswami Prabhupada. He was the chief of the six Goswamis who were the direct disciples of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. ผู้นำของหกโกสวามีที่เป็นสาวกโดยตรงของพระองค์เจ้าเจตนียมหาประบุ When he first met Lord Chaitanya, Srila Rupa Goswami Prabhupada was engaged as a minister in the Mohammedan government of Bengal. ครั้งแรกที่พบกับองค์เชตัญญาศิระรูปโกสวามีพระบุปดาเป็นรัฐธรรมนูญของเป็นรัฐมนตรีของรัฐบาลมูฮัมมัดที่เบงกอล He and his brother Sanatana were then named Dabir Kas. And Sakara Malik, respectively, and they held responsible posts as ministers of Nawab Hussein Shah. Tanshu Dabira Kasha, La Pichai Sanatana, Chu Sakara Makil Malika, Tangku Rapicho, Pen Rathamundri Kong Nawab Hussein Shah. At that time, 500 years ago, the Hindu society was very rigid, and if a member of the Brahmana caste accepted the service of a Mohammedan ruler, he was at once rejected from Brahmana society. That was the position of the two brothers, Dabir Kasa and Sakara Malik. They belonged to the highly situated Saraswata Brahman community, but they were ostracized due to their acceptance of ministerial posts in the government of Hussein Shah. <laughs> It is the grace of Lord Chaitanya that he accepted these two exalted personalities as his disciples and raised them to the position of Goswamis, the highest position. Of Brahminical culture. ด้วยพระเมตตาขององค์เชตัญญาที่ทรงยอมรับผู้มีคุณคุณธรรมสูงส่งทั้งสองมาเป็นสาวกและพัฒนาพวกเขาจนมาถึงตำแหน่งโบสถ์วามีซึ่งเป็นสถานภาพสูงสุดของวัฒนธรรมพรามซึ่งเหมือนกันลอร์ดเชตัญญาเอ็กเซปติดฮาริดาสตาคูร์แอสฮิสเดสไซปูอัลโลฮาริดาสเห็นเป็นที่เกิดของชาวมุฮัมมัดอินฟัมมิลี
ลักษณะเดียวกันองค์ชัยตัญญาทรงยอมรับฮาริดาสทากูลมาเป็นสาวกแม้ฮาริดาสจะเกิดในครอบครัวของโมฮัมมัด Lord Chaitanya later on made him the acharya of the chanting of the holy name of the Lord Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare. ต่อมาองค์เชตัญญาทรงสถาปนาให้เป็นอาชาริยะแห่งการสวดภาวนาพระนามอันศักดิ์สิทธิ์ขององค์พระควานฮาริคริสนาฮาริคริสนาคริสนาคริสนาฮาริฮาริฮาริรามาฮาริรามารามารามาฮาริ Alright, so this book, the Nectar of Devotion, was written by Srila Prabhupada when he first came to America. นังสือนักวิพากษ์คำอุทิศตนเจสลานี้เนี่ยเขียนโดยศิลปะพาสต์ Yes, yes, Malaji. The Chinese Chinese devotee said they come come hear me. Please send me again. Oh, okay. okay. ดูสิโกปินัสทดสอบนะโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคกูรู้แล้วโอเคกูรู้แล้วโอเคกูรู้แล้วเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยเราไม่
Those who go up in that. Can you respond? Hare Krishna, please try. Okay, she is back. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So Prabhupada was instructed by his spiritual master that he that when he took initiation, his spiritual master told him that you should study the book Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu very carefully. So, Tosi Gopinath, is it what are you getting through? Are you hearing? Are you translating? Tosi Gopinath, can you respond, please? Chinda 他同时翻译的时候我们听得见你听到把它设成传译员之后我们就听不见了听不见他讲话了可能他们这个系统有问题他的电脑里面的那个传译功能有问题干脆把它撤就是不要传译员你看把它撤掉传译员他还是可以
Tu si può opinare, ni fanima, ni jumbe fanima. Ok, ma lì, you can un unmute yourself. Tu si può opinare. Ok, good morning, ni che si può fanima. Yes, hi, Krishna Maharaj. Ok. Please, okay, I'm humble obeisances. Okay. Yes, I can try. Okay, is okay. it okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, very good. I think everyone can hear you now. Good. Okay. So, okay, let me announce to the Thai, Thai devotee. Yes. Uh, um, uh, the uh, uh, the uh, 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 Okay, good morning. You you ready? Yeah. Yes. Yes, I'm I'm ready. Please, okay. Please, please begin. So we're we're going to read from the book The Nectar of Devotion, which was a summary study of a book by Rupa Goswami. When Rupa Goswami wrote the book, he gave the book the name the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. Rasamrita means the nectar of rasa, the nectar of exchanges with Krishna. Rasamrita is the Gandu, the Change of nectar. And Sindhu is ocean. Sindhu is So Rupa Goswami uh, wrote this book 500 years ago on the under the teaching based on the teachings he got from Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Rupa Goswami was a direct disciple of Lord Chaitanya. Right. Lord Chaitanya had the, the six Goswamis, they were all followers of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And Rupa Goswami, he was like the leader of the Goswamis, of the six Goswamis. So when Lord Chaitanya first met with Rupa Goswami, at that time he was working for the Mohammedan government. When he was in the gov he was in the government as a minister, he had a big position. So Rupa Goswami had, an, he had actually two brothers. So one of the brothers, his older brother, was called Sanatan, and he, he also became a Goswami. Rupa Goswami had a Sanatan Goswami. They became Goswami. So Sanatana Goswami, his Muslim name was Sakara Malik. Sanatana Goswami, the Muslim name is called Sakara Malik. Yeah, when you when you work for the Muslim, if you work for the Muslim government, then you have to take a Muslim name. When you work for Muslim government, you have to take a Muslim name. So Sanatana Goswami got the name Sakara Malik, and he became also a very important man in the government. So 500 years ago, Bengal was ruled by the Muslim people and there, there was a Muslim ruler. Uh, 
And the Muslim ruler's name, he was the Nawab Hussein Shah. Yeah. Shah. Mm. Shah. Mm. So 500 years ago, the Hindu, the Hindu society was very, very strict about uh, who you could work for and what you could do. Yeah, Rupa and Sanatan, they were, of course, they were Brahmanas. They were born in the Brahmana family. Their father was a Brahmana. Rupa and and when a, if a Brahmana would work for a Mohammedan ruler, then the, he could not be a Brahmana anymore. So there's a story, there's a story about one, one man, uh, he was a Hindu and he got made into a Muslim. But just because someone poured water on him, because a Muslim poured water on him, he was supposed to, he could not be a Hindu anymore and he would have to become a Muslim. So this Hindu man, he didn't want to become a Muslim. So he asked the different Brahmanas what he could do to stop being a Muslim. So the Brahmanas, they told him, you have to drink boiling ghee. So to drink boiling ghee, it's, it's, you'll kill yourself, you'll die. So the man didn't want to drink boiling ghee, and later on he met Lord Chaitanya, and he asked Lord Chaitanya what he could do. So Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told him, you just have to chant the holy name of Krishna and you have to serve the devotees. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu just to chant Krishna and serve the devotees. So the man did that and he became a very nice devotee. So 500 years ago, these two brothers, Rupa and Sanatan, they were put out from the Brahmana community because they were working for the Mohammedan. Actually, they had a very good birth. They were born in a very high-class Brahmana family. But they, they had been forced by the Mohammedans to take up the job and to work for the Mohammedan government. The government needed them because the two, the two men, Rupa and Sanatan, they were very, very intelligent and all the Hindu people respected them. 
。政府之所以需要这两个人呢，是因为兄弟二人都是智慧超群，而且受到嗯印度教徒们的普遍尊重。So the Muslim ruler, he made the two these two men, Rupa and Sanatan, he gave them big positions in the government, and that helped him to rule the country. And they had control over the Hindus. Muslim 统治者就给给予兄弟俩人，呃，很高的政府的要职的地位，就协助他来统治这些印度教徒。But the two men, Rupa and Sanatan, they were not happy to to be working in that service for the Muslim. 但是兄弟二人，嗯，为这个穆斯林。来效力，他们两个人内心一点也不快乐。And they had written letters to Lord Chaitanya, and when Lord Chaitanya got their letter, then he was happy and he went to see them. 所以他们就给主柴坦尼亚写了信。当主柴坦尼亚收到二人的信，他感到非常高兴，就去来去和这二人去会面。So Lord Chaitanya accepted both of these two men. And he accepted them, gave them initiation. Lord Chaitanya accepted the brothers, and he gave them initiation. And he and he made them, brought them to the position to be Goswamis. And he brought them to the position to be Goswamis. And he brought them to the position to be Goswamis. And he brought them to the position to be Goswamis. And he brought them to the position to be Goswamis. And in the same way, Lord Chaitanya also accepted Hari Das Thakur as his disciple. 以同样的方式，主柴田尼马塔武也接受了哈里达斯塔库为自己的门徒。Now Hari Das Thakur, he had been born in a Mohammedan family. 而哈里达斯塔库，他出生于穆斯林家庭。But Lord Chaitanya made him the Acharya. In the chanting of the holy names. 而主柴坦尼亚使得哈达斯塔库成为了唱诵圣名的宗师。All right, we always say Nam Acharya Shila Hari Das Thakur Ki Jai. 所以我们总是说 Nam Acharya Shila Hari Das Thakur Ki Jai. All right, so we're going to read more here from the preface. Lord Chaitanya's principle is universal. Lord Chaitanya 提出了一条放诸四海而皆准的原则 Anyone who knows the science of Krishna and is engaged in the service of Krishna is accepted as being in a higher position than a person born in a family of Brahmanas. 这条原则就是。谁掌握了有关主 Krishna 的科学，并为至尊主履行奉爱服务，他的地位就高于诞生在婆罗门家庭的人。That is the original principle accepted by all Vedic literatures, especially by Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam. 这也是所有伟大文献。都一致承认的原初的原则，尤其是《博伽梵歌》和《圣典》《博伽瓦谭》。The principle of Lord Chaitanya's movement in educating and elevating everyone to the exalted post of a Goswami is taught in the nectar of devotion. Lord Chaitanya 推动的运动目的在于教导每一个人，将他们都提升到 Goswami 的崇高地位上。奉爱的甘露一书向我们呈现了有关这方面的教导。So we should understand this teaching of Lord Chaitanya is meant for people everywhere in every society in every country. 嗯，我们要知道，主柴坦尼亚提出的这项原则，实际上是真，是放诸四海而皆准的，是针对每一个社团、每一个人群。Now, generally, we think that people who are the brahmanas that they are in the highest position. 通常而言，我们认为，呃 ，brahmana， 婆罗门们，他们就是社会上的精英了，佼佼者。Brahmanas are the teachers. They are meant to be in the mode of goodness, and they are meant to lead and 
guide the other people and instruct them for their spiritual and material benefit. But anybody who knows the science of Krishna, if they know the science of Krishna and if they're doing service for Krishna, then they're considered better than the Brahmanas. And Prabhupada explains that this is what is taught in all the Vedic literatures like the Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam. It's not the birth which is important. But what is important is that we should know the science of Krishna. And you have to work according to that teaching. Just like in the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna describes that he created the four divisions of society, the Brahman, the Kshatriya, and the Vaishya, and the Sudra. Right? This is in the fourth chapter of the Bhagavad Gita. And Lord Krishna describes that he created these four divisions according to guna and karma. Guna means qualities and karma means work. So these different positions like the Brahmana and Kshatriya, Vaishya, Asudra will depend on how much, on what kind of education you get. And, and with education, after you get education, then you will work according to your education. So, this is the principle of Lord Chaitanya's teaching. And it stated that anybody can be educated and anyone can be elevated to the position of a Goswami. But we know not everybody wants to be a Goswami. <laughs> okay, so this is what's being taught here in the nectar of devotion. We'll read more. Lord Chaitanya met the two brothers, Dabira Kas and Sakara Malik, in a village known as Ramakeli in the district of Mauda. And after that meeting, the brothers decided to retire from government service and join Lord Chaitanya. Dabir Kasa, who was later to become Rupa Goswami, retired from his post and collected all the money he had accumulated during his service. 
比尔帕萨，其后来的入帕勾刷米辞职后，将他任职期间积蓄的全部钱财集中到一起。It is described in the Chaitanya Charitamrita that his accumulated savings in gold coins equaled millions of dollars and filled a large boat. Chaitanya Charitamrita, 一书中记载说，他所积蓄的金币折合美元有数百万元之多，装了满满一大船。He divided the money in a very exemplary manner, which should be followed by devotees in particular and by humanity in general. He did not follow the usual method of distributing the money among the devotees. He did not follow the usual method of distributing the money among the devotees. He did not follow the usual method of distributing the money among the devotees. He did not follow the usual method of distributing the money among the devotees. He did not follow the usual method of distributing the money among the devotees. He did not follow the usual method of distributing the money And the Vaishnavas, twenty-five percent was distributed to relatives, and twenty-five percent was kept against emergency expenditures and personal difficulties. He put the remaining fifty percent to the Brahmins and Vaishnavas, those who have Krishna consciousness, and the remaining twenty-five percent to the relatives. 剩下的百分之二十五留给自己，以备不时之需。Later on, when Sakara Malik, who proposed to retire, the Nawab was very much agitated and put him into jail. 后来 ，Sakara Malik 也提出辞职，总督一怒之下将他关进监狱。But Sakara Malik, who was later to become Srila Sanatana Goswami, Took advantage of his brother's personal money, which had been deposited with a village banker, and escaped from the prison of Hussein Shah. Sakar Malika, 继后来的 Sanatan Goswami， 利用弟弟存在一个箱里钱庄的钱，设法逃出了侯赛因王的监狱。In this way, both brothers joined Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. 从此，兄弟俩都加入了主柴达尼亚马哈帕布的队伍。All right, so we heard that Lord Chaitanya first met with the two brothers in this village called Ramakili. 所以我们听到说，主柴达尼亚首先在这个叫做 Ramakili 的村庄与兄弟俩初次相遇。So this is a very nice village. Many devotees go there to vi to visit this place, Ramakili. Remember, five hundred years ago, Navadweep was an important place. Um, we must remember, we must remember that in five hundred years ago, Navadweep was an important place. Um, and.、Uh, Navadweep was the center of education. All the young men would come to study in Navadweep. But the government, the government officials, many of them, they had lived, they lived in this village Ramakili, which is some distance away from Navadweep. 但是许多政府官员，他们都居住在 Ramakili 这个地方。Ramakili 离 Navadweep 有一段距离远。Yeah, the nearest town to Ramakili, there's a town called Mauda, and we have an ISKCON center there. 离呃离嗯 Ramakili 最近的一个地方叫 Mauda， 我们 ISKCON 有一个中心就在那里。And just now also they're trying to make a temple also in Ramakili. 而现在呢，他们在努力在 Ramakili 也建设一所庙宇。Because it was at Ramakili that Rupa and Sanatan met Lord Chaitanya for the first time. 因为正是在 Ramakili 这个地方，是主柴达尼亚首次与兄呃 Rupa 和 Sanatan 的初次相遇。So before meeting Lord Chaitanya, Rupa and Sanatan had been working for the Mohammedan government. 在遇见主柴达尼亚之前，嗯，朱珀斯和萨纳坦呢是在穆罕默德政府当中任职
and they had changed their names, they had been given the Muslim names and they were even dressing like the Muslims. And growing the beard like what the Muslim grows the beard. So they did they, they they knew that the Muslims they're always doing things like killing cows, so they didn't like to work with them. They knew that it's not good association for devotees. So they decided they wanted to give up their jobs and quit the government. So Rupa Goswami did it first and he collected all the money he'd earned. And he collected, he'd made a lot of money, he said it, it, it was so much money it could fill a boat, fill a big boat. So he divided the money in a very special way that he gave half, the, half of the money he gave to the brahmanas and the devotees. And he gave only 25% to the family and relatives. And he gave 25, he kept 25% for emergency. So, Prabhupada said, this is a very good way to divide your savings. Sometimes, you know, people were very attached to our family and we give everything to the family. So, it's good if you can divide the money the way Rupa Goswami did it. Of course, this is at the time when Rupa Goswami is going to retire from his service. Yeah, he's going to he's going to leave the home and he's going to go away to be with Lord Chaitanya. So you should understand they were not so young, they were quite you know, elderly because they were already they had very big position in the government. So they were, must have been middle-aged, at least maybe a bit older than middle age. And so they're going to, uh, first of all, Rupa Goswami, he had his, he got his money together and he divided it up and then he left the home. He, he didn't tell the, the government, the Muslim government that he was leaving. He just did it. He just left. But his older brother, the one who was Sanatan, Sanatan, that he, when he, he he was he was staying at home 
and he was having brahmanas come and he was hearing the Srimad Bhagavatam every day from them. So when the Muslim ruler heard that Sanatan was not going to the office, he was not doing any work for the government, then he went to find out what's wrong. And when he went to the home of Sanata and he saw all these brahmanas there and they were doing things like yagya and they were chanting and they were reading the scriptures so the Nawab, the Muslim man, the ruler, he, was, he got angry and he put Sanatan into prison. He could understand that Sanatana was not practicing the Muslim religion anymore and that he, he was going back to be a Hindu again. So Sanatan was put into prison and he had to think how to get out of the prison. So the man, the, the man who was taking care of the prison, he was a Muslim man, and so Sanatan told him, he said, you know, he, he said, if you let me go free, I'm going to go to Mecca, and I will go to Mecca and I will offer prayers for you. And then Sanatan also told him, told the man in charge of the prison, he said, if you let me out, then I, will, I have, you know, I have some money and I can give that money to you. So this money was actually Rupa Goswami's money, which Rupa Goswami had left there in case Sanata needed some money. So Sanatana Goswami told the jailer that I'll give you this money and you just let me go. But the jailer said, but I'll, be, I'll get in trouble if I let you go. Somewhere I was a little distracted. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Wait a minute. Are you okay, Gurumani? Sorry. Okay. I'm back. Okay. Okay, so uh, the, the jailer wanted to know how he could explain that Sanatan had escaped. So Sanatan Goswami told him, he said, just tell him that you took me to, you took me to, you know, to answer the call of nature to, you know, pass stool or something, and that when I was beside the Ganges, I fell into the Ganga and I drowned in the Ganga. Uh, so, 
，也意思就是说，带他去，嗯，去排泄。然后，当他在恒河岸边排泄的时候呢，他不幸就落入了恒河之中，被淹死了。嗯、mm -hmm. ，So the tailor was happy to get all the money Sanatan promised him, and he got all the money and he let Sanatan out, and Sanatan left to go to find Lord Chaitanya. 这个狱卒呢，就兴高采烈的拿了 Sanatan Goswami 给他的这些钱财，而 Sanatan Goswami 则去去找主 Chaitanya。Okay, we'll read just a little more. Rupa Goswami first met Lord Chaitanya at Prayag, in, which is Allahabad in India, and on the Dash Ashwamedha bathing ghat of that holy city, the Lord instructed him continually for ten days. Rupa Goswami in India, Allahabad. 阿拉哈巴省的 Prayag 与主 Chaitanya 再次会面，在这座圣城的一个名叫呃 Dasha Dasha Swamida 的沐浴台阶上，至尊主对 Rupa Goswami 进行了一连十天的教导。The Lord particularly instructed Rupa Goswami on the science of Krishna consciousness. 主尤其对如果高苏阿米进行了有关 Krishna 知觉的科学的教导。These teachings of Lord Chaitanya to Shrila Rupa Goswami to Shrila Rupa Goswami Prabhupada are narrated in our book Teachings of Lord Chaitanya。主 Chaitanya 的教导这一本书就记载了主 Chaitanya 对圣 Rupa Goswami Prabhupada 的教导。So we had Rupa Goswami. He left his work, left his job, and he divided the money, and then he went to meet Lord Chaitanya, and they met at this place called Prayag, Prayag, where the Ganges meets the Yamuna. So we heard Rupa Goswami. He was how he left his job, and then he divided his money and his resources. After that, he. 呃，他就去找了 Chaitanya， 他们两个人就在 Prayag 这个地方会面，这是在恒河和雅木纳河的交汇之处。So just like three years ago, when we were touring in India, the devotees from China, we all went to this place, Prayag, and we went to this Dash Ashwamedha Ghat. We saw the place. 三年前呢。就有一些中国奉献者就去印度朝圣的时候，就来到了这处，就来到了 Prayag， 来到了 Dasha Dasha Swamida 这个沐浴台阶，去朝拜这处圣地。Yeah, there's a temple there, and there's a sign there also it tells how Lord Chaitanya met Rupa Goswami and taught him there for ten days. 在那里呢，就建起了一所庙，并且呢。设立了一个，诶，一个牌子，在这个，嗯，标牌上就就写到 ，Chaitanya Mahaprabhu 就在这里会见了 Rupa Goswami。So Lord Chaitanya taught Rupa Goswami what is the science of Krishna consciousness. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu 就教导 Rupa Goswami 有关 Krishna 知觉的科学的内容。And these, what what Lord Chaitanya taught to Rupa Goswami, it's all described in the book, the teachings of Lord Chaitanya. 主 Chaitanya 对 Rupa Goswami 所做的教导都记载了，主 Chaitanya 的教导这本书中。Later, Sri Rupa Goswami Prabhupada elaborated the teachings of the Lord. With profound knowledge of revealed scripture and authoritative reference from various Vedic literature. 这以后，圣卢帕欧萨米·普拉布帕特，本着对启示经典和各类权威伟大文献的深刻和理解，旁征博引的对至尊主的教导，做了深入而又详尽的阐释。Okay, we'll stop here, and we'll just ask if there's any questions. 那我们的讲课部分到这里，接下来我们来回答问题。
Are there any questions here? Yeah. Are there any questions, Archana? You have any questions there? Yes, Hare Krishna. Uh, no, no question, Gurmash. No. No, no nobody. Uh huh. Okay. Maybe we'll just read a little more then. Okay. L Later, Srila Rupa Goswami elaborated the teachings of the Lord with profound knowledge of revealed scriptures and authoritative references from various Vedic literature. Srila Srinivas Acharya describes in his prayer to the six Goswamis that they were all highly learned scholars, not only in Sanskrit, but also in foreign languages such as Persian and Arabic. They very scrutinizingly studied all the Vedic scriptures in order to establish the cult of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu on the authorized principles of Vedic knowledge. The present Krishna consciousness movement is also based on the authority of Srila Rupa Goswami Prabhupada. We are therefore generally known as Rupanugas or followers in the footsteps of Srila Rupa Goswami Prabhupada. It is only for our guidance that Srila Rupa Goswami prepared his book Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu which is now presented in the form of the nectar of devotion. Persons engaged in the Krishna consciousness movement may take advantage of this great literature and be very solidly situated in Krishna consciousness. Alright, so we're told about the, the, the six Goswamis that they were very educated, they knew different languages. And they had read many scriptures. So although they had become Muslims, they had studied before, before becoming Muslims, they had studied all the scriptures as young men. Uh, 
，所以穆斯林政府效力之前，嗯，年轻的时候就已经研读了各种经典。And, uh, they use that knowledge to write the books about the teachings which Lord Chaitanya had given them. 所以他们就利用他们所获得的这些知识，就嗯，根据主柴达尼亚的教导，所撰写了书籍。And they supported everything Lord Chaitanya taught them. They supported it with evidence from different scriptures. 他们根据经典的，嗯，他们旁从经典当中旁征博引，嗯，引述了各种证据来支持主柴达尼亚的教导。So of course they were they were here in Bengal, so they knew the local language, which was the Bengali, and they knew Sanskrit, but they knew other languages also. And they had to learn because the Muslim people they are fond to speak Arabic and languages like Persian, so they also learn these languages. So Prabhupada explains that our Krishna consciousness movement is based on the teachings of Rupa Goswami. Prabhupada 解释说，我们的 Krishna 直觉运动以圣如果勾算米的教导为权威。So we are called the Rupa Nugas, means we follow the footsteps of Rupa Goswami. 所以我们又被称为 Rupa Nuga， 即我们是圣如果勾算米的追随者。And Rupa Goswami wrote his books, like this book Bhakti Ratsamrita Sindhu, for the. 圣如果勾算米。So we should look carefully. Then we'll become very, very, as very well situated in Krishna consciousness. 仔细加以研读，好让我们稳固的处于 Krishna 之觉当中。Many local arti they will read for five minutes from the nectar of devotion. 在世界上的其他地方的庙宇当中，每天在蒙古的阿提清晨的吉祥灯一之后，他们会读五分钟的这部《奉爱的甘露》这部书。It's very nice for the devotees to hear a little bit from the nectar from this book. It's a very important book. 所以奉献者们，他们倘若能每天花一些时间来聆听这部重要的。Okay, so we will stop here today. Okay, now there are questions. Okay. Now there are questions. Okay. Now there are questions. Okay. Now there are questions. 顶拜咕噜和老师，这段时间，我和身边的奉献者可能受家人的联谊等情况，灵性学习成长都缓慢下来。请教咕噜，我们应该怎么保持稳定的灵性进步呢？感恩您。呃，呃 ，obeisance to guru and teacher. This, uh, during this period of time, uh. I myself and the devotees around me, maybe we are influenced by our family members. Uh, therefore, our spiritual progress ha has been slowed down. So, Guru, what should I, what should we do to keep, to keep ourselves to make spiritual progress very steadily? Thank you. Well. To make your spiritual progress steady, <coughs> you have to regularly hear and chant. So even though your family members are not devotees, 
you can, you have to make some time for yourself to do your hearing and for your chanting. And you have to also get association with devotees. Just like you get association by hearing these classes every day, every time. Devotees giving lectures almost every day, you get lectures morning and evening. So try to hear, and even if you can't hear, then you try to read yourself. Just like I'm giving classes, I'm, just, I'm reading the books and then talking about the book. So, you, you, you stay with the family, but at the same time you have to cultivate Krishna consciousness. So, you don't need to leave the home, but you need to cultivate your Krishna consciousness. So you have to you have to make some time every day to do chanting and hearing. And that will help you to make good advancement. Okay. Oh,另外,continue,另外再请教咕噜。我抄写完快乐宣言之后,感觉抄写经典的方式会让自己,自己的心比较踏实。我是否还需要反复抄写国家放歌这样的经典呢?呃,I myself, I, um, copied, I write down uh, Krishna, the source of happiness, the book. Uh, I felt uh, uh, by doing this, co um, right, copying the books, by hand reading the books, I felt um, very peaceful in, in the heart. So, Guru, should I continue or repeatedly uh, copy? Uh, by handwriting the uh, scriptures like the Bhagavad Gita. Yes, yes, you can do that. It's also very nice. But make sure you also understand what you're writing. Yeah. No, don't don't just write, but make sure you also understand everything. Think about it carefully. Our Krishna, Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. O glories to Srila Prabhupada, is this book suitable for all devotees, for beginners also? There is also nectar of instruction, Srimad Bhagavatam, Chaitanya Charitamrita. Should we read them parallel? Parallel. 
or one by one. Thank you very much for your wonderful class. Yes, you can. This book, Nectar of Devotion and Nectar of Instruction, and uh, Bhagavad Gita and Sri Upanishad, they are the basic. They are the, the 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 basic books for the beginning for the Bhakti Shastri. Srimad Bhagavatam is more advanced, and Chaitanya Charitamrita is still more advanced. 教诲的甘露,博家放喝和水艺术班里的制作奥运书,他们都是出席者,是个出席者的,他们都是,他们是属于巴蒂萨舍的课程,而博家把谈是更进一步的,深入的课程,而彩登亚查这么的这部书是更
you may not have you didn't you don't have so much money like Rupa Goswami. But the idea is, you know, you should you should give something for the service of the devotees, the brahmanas. It's very good for you. Whatever you give, when you give it to an ordinary person, it will come back an equal amount. And what do you give for somebody who is a, a very good devotee, then it will come back many more times. And Prabhupada said the best, the highest charity is to give for the Krishna consciousness movement. That they will use that money for the service of Lord Krishna. So that's the greatest benefit. You give for the service of Lord Krishna, you get eternal benefit. Just, just like we're building a temple, we are building a big temple here in Mayapur, so if you donate for the temple, then Krishna will build a temple, he will build a house for you in the spiritual world. When you go there, you will get a house in the spiritual world. There is a story in the Krishna book, the Sudama. Sudama gave some little dry rice to Krishna. Now Sudama, he didn't have anything and he went to beg that rice. He had to beg that rice from the neighbor. But because he gave it to Krishna, so Krishna gave him so much. He gave him a fabulous mansion with so many servants, with all kinds of opulence. And then there's a story about the, the lady who was selling fruits and she came to Krishna's house and Lord Krishna brought some rice to give her in exchange for the fruit. And Lord Krishna is just a little baby and he couldn't have much, couldn't carry much rice in his hands. But when he gave the rice to the ba the woman, the lady was so happy, she gave the baby Krishna, she gave him a big armful of fruit. And Krishna just gave a few grains of rice, but these rice, the rice became beautiful, valuable jewels. Krishna 
嗯，他手里他就拿捧着一些大米，就来到这个卖水果的小贩那里和他交换。然后这个小贩，这这名妇女呢，她特别的高兴，然后她给了那 Krishna 许多的水果，让 Krishna 嗯放在他的怀里。结果他后来 Krishna 就把这个这个小贩他得到的这些大米全全变成了珠宝。So you give to Krishna, you're never the loser. 所以如果你是把钱财给 Krish 的话，你就永远不会是输家，你都是你会是赢家。Of course, but you shouldn't give everything that you have to starve yourself. 那当然了，你也不能就是全部都奉献出去，然后自己在那里忍饥忍饥挨饿的。You have to be able to pay your rent. You have to be able to live. 你还得给自己这个房子呢。呃，付那个账单儿，还还必须呃生生活。So try to try to organize your 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 finances so that you can contribute something to Krishna. 所以您可以好好的筹划自己的这个呃财自己的钱财，然后给 Krishna 呃。可以给，以至于可以给 Krishna 贡献一些钱财。Okay. Yes. 下一个问题是来自于 Janaka Prabhu。哈尔 Krishna， 明白圣 Guru Dev 和奉献者，请问一。一今天的课程介绍了 Rupa 和 Sanatan 的勾算们的情况，他们在穆斯林政府就穿了他们的服装，留了胡须。这个对我们中国奉献者，有的认为一定要穿灵性的服装才算是进步的奉献者，有什么教导意义吗？啊、uh, ， there are two questions for Janaka Babu. The the first one is that, uh, today Rupa, uh, uh, in the class is mentioned. Rupa and, and Sanatana, when they are working in a Muslim garment, they wear their uh, clothes and wear mustache. Uh, what are what kind? What's the lesson for our Chinese devotees? Some devotees think um, we must wear uh, spiritual clothes. Uh, so that to show that we are uh, advanced devotees. So, what what are the instruction um, for for our Chinese devotee from this incident? What lesson can we learn? Well, they gave up that job. They didn't like to be Muslim. They didn't like wearing all those clothes and being like Muslims. They gave it up. Lord Chaitanya told them, "Leave that work." Rupa Goswami, they after they gave up this job, they didn't like to wear this Muslim dress and clothes. And Lord Chaitanya told them to leave this job. Hmm. 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 Devotees like to wear spiritual clothes. So it's very nice if they if they want to do it, let let them do it. The 奉献者他们喜欢穿灵性的衣服，这是非常好。如果他们喜欢，就让他们就穿着这些衣服吧。Sometimes the ladies they like to wear saris. 呃，有时候，呃，女奉献者喜欢身着纱蕊。Sometimes devotees also they grow, they they like to have a shika. They grow shika on the back of their head. The men like to have a shika. 而有的男奉献者喜欢头上留着一撮 shika. So it's you know to remind them, just like we wear neck beads, we wear neck beads. We wear tosi mala around our neck to remind us that we're devotees. 嗯，所以这个是一个呃一种提醒，就像我们我们戴这个
，静珠都都是静珠。But at the same time, some places it's not convenient to wear these spiritual clothes. 嗯，但与此同时，在有些场合。So we understand that it's not possible in every place. So we understand that it's not possible in Just like devotees who go for book distribution, often they like to go in art plain clothes because it's easier for them to approach people and to introduce the books to people. 有有的派出奉献者，他们喜欢身着便装，因为这样呢，他们就很容易去接近人们来派出了。So especially parts of the world where we're not. Really incorporated, but not registered as an unofficial society. You have to be careful about dressing up and wearing all these different clothes. 特别是在世界的某些地方，嗯，就是我们并没有得到，我们并没有得到认可，没有得到注册官方的，呃，嗯，注册为官方的协会，所以我们还是先。Okay. The next question, next part of question, Sanatan Gosami, 为了越狱贿赂看守，这在当时穆斯林法律来看是犯法的。我们应该以什么样心态去认识这个呢？嗯、呃。Sanan Sanan and Goswami, in order to get rid of get get out of the prison house, um, he bribed the 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 person uh, in charge of the prison prison. In in the view, according to Muslim laws, this is illegal. Uh, so in what attitude, what mood? What uh, should be our mood attitude uh, to uh, for this um, to understand this uh, behavior? This well, this is explained by Srila Prabhupada in the in the Srimad Bhagavatam. He said that great souls will cheat for a great purpose. So Sanatana Goswami cheated to get out of prison. He, you could say he broke the law, but for a great purpose, so that he could go and join Lord Chaitanya and he could be, be a full-time devotee. Sananda Goswami, he, um, he, is, uh, uh, do these cheating, cheating, jail, jail, Muslim government's, uh, this behavior, um, seems to be breaking the law. But he is for a great purpose. He is to join Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and become a full-time devotee. Mm hmm. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, next one. Next one. Next one. 同同时是他的隐疾日，我们想林老师分享一下他的甘露。Hare Krishna. Ah,、uh, previously, uh, when the, the six Goswamis they they met difficulty, they are so they have so much wisdom. They know how to deal with those difficulties. 
Uh, in the modern time, our spiritual masters, for example, Sama Krishna Goswami, uh, uh, when they meet, met with difficulty, what what uh, what's they behavior to deal with those difficulty today is his disappearance day we, we want spiritual master to share his the nectar about him yes well of course he had difficulties he had to deal with everything how to de deal with it he accepted these difficulties as the merge as the arrangement of krishna and he dealt with them, do whatever was necessary according to the time and the circumstances. Hmm. Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur says the difficulties which come in our devotional service are the greatest pleasure for a devotee. They help to intensify his devotion, becomes more eager to go back to be with Krishna. So the more we're in difficulties, just like Queen Kunti says, the more we're in difficulty, the more we remember Krishna. So Tamal Krishna Goswami had difficulties. There were always some difficulties there, of course, because he was taking on so much service for Krishna. So he was very careful to always do good chanting and hearing about Krishna. So Tama Krishna Goswami he was always encouraging the devotees to come together to chant the holy name. We know before he departed from the world, he was having all the devotees come to his room every night and they would have kirtan. He liked to get the devotees together, bring everyone together, sit down and chant the holy name. Nice kirtan. Okay, any other question, Guru Mai? Guru Mai? Uh, yes, Yuvati Sachi, next one. 
Okay. Two more. You're very sachi, you guys. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. Oh, glory to Shri Prabhupada. How can we get the mercy of six Goswami and what should we ask them for? Well, you can get the mercy of the six Goswamis by uh, following their teachings reading their books, just like we're reading this book, Nectar of Devotion. So you'll get the mercy of Rupa Goswami by studying this book. And we should ask them for devotional service. A devotee always prays that he can remember Krishna and have devotional service. Hmm. Lord Chaitanya teaches us we don't want wealth, we don't want followers, or we don't want a lot of fame or glory. We just simply want devotional service, birth after birth. Yes. Okay. Krishna Kumari, Obeisance to Guru's lotus feet. Um, my question is that if we have the desire to light some um, some teenager, some boy, some children, teenager, um, who is more than 10 years old, after the pandemic, uh, we wish them to go to the Holy Dam to study. Uh, is this very practical? Is this idea practical? Except uh, praying for Krishna, what, what practical work should we do and what should be our consideration and preparation? Mm. Well, it's not a very easy thing to send children to Gurukula here from China. You, you cannot just send the child on his own. You have to, the parents have to come with the child. They have to come and live here in Mayapur. And it's it's difficult for children. We we we've, we've seen we had a number of children come from China here, and they didn't do very well. Some people did okay, but not all. Uh, 
first of all, you have the language problem, and then you have culture problem. The child has to be very willing and very interested in Krishna consciousness. You cannot force the child to do these things. So you try to cultivate the child, first of all, at home, and you try to give him some Krishna consciousness at home. Give him nice prasadam. Is he a vegetarian? If he's not a vegetarian, then it would be very difficult. Okay. Any other question? No, no. No more questions. Archana, you have questions there? Archana? Hare Yeah, do you have any questions? No, no, Guru Okay, so we'll stop here tonight. Yes. So thank all the devotees very much for their questions. Have a nice weekend. We hope to see you next week. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Jai. Go back to Vrinda Ki Jai. Jai.